Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another Genshin Impact video. And today I'm just gonna be doing a quick top 10 Ayaka mods for Genshin Impact in no particular order. Well, there kind of is an order, but there also isn't. You don't have to take this top 10 too seriously. Anyways, if you like the video, just leave a like and subscribe. Number 10, we got Yomu Konpaku from the Toho series, created by Multiverse Impact. If you're a fan of the Toho series, I would recommend this mod since it features Yomu Konpaku. I really love the Toho series. I used to listen to the music of it all the time when I was in high school. I don't really listen to it that often, mostly because Toho music tends to get copyright striked on YouTube. Even though the mod shows Yomu's traditional sheaths in the back, it doesn't come with any weapon mod, nor does it come with her ghost half, something that's like a trademark to Yomu. If you're into the Toho series, a really good mod to download. Thank you Multiverse Impact for this mod. Number nine, we got Ayaka and Ganyu's outfit created by Kusanobo. I think Ganyu probably has the best outfit in the game and I think the fan art community can agree with this since Ganyu does generate a lot of fan art. This mod is obviously just Ayaka in Ganyu's outfit and Ayaka can pull it off pretty well. I don't know how Ayaka does it, maybe it's the silver in her eyes that bring out the white in the outfit. Ayaka's fan also matches the outfit with the gold and the black, it just looks really good with the outfit. Ayaka's black ribbon that holds up her ponytail also kind of matches with the outfit along with her red, uh, the red ribbons in her hair also matches with the red ropes of the outfit. Ayaka pulls off the Ganyu outfit pretty well. Thank you Kusanobo for this mod. Number eight, we got a not safe for work mod developed by XC, which is called the JK Gyaru Ayaka mod. If you don't know what a Gyaru is, you probably haven't read enough hentai dojins, but it's basically a high school girl that gets passed around by the other students, if you catch my drift. This mod does give Ayaka a little bit of more of a thicker proportions. This mod does come with some toggles by using the directional pad in your keyboard. You can expose her milkers, you can take off her skirt, you can also take off the underwear. You can also have her in her birthday suit. But if there is a specific specific version you want, you can also just download that specific version. There's also a version without the pink hoodie, so if you want a version without that hoodie in her waist, then you can download that. Pink hoodie can match with the um, mist splitter if, the, if your mist splitter isn't modded. This is my second favorite not safe for work Kayaka mod, so thank you XC for this mod. Number seven, we got Snow P Ayaka by Some Call Me Blue. This modded outfit is worn by a character by the name of Wai Sushni from the Ruby series. I used to like this show, but it kind of fell off after the creator unfortunately passed away. Wai Sushni was one of my favorite characters in Ruby, which is why it's on this list. Unfortunately, there is no rapier sword mod that comes with this outfit mod. I do know that Wai Sushni used a single-handed sword, the rapier, as her weapon in the show. Overall, the mod fits Ayaka pretty well since the outfit is worn by another snow princess. Thank you, some call me blue for this Waish Shini outfit mod. Number six, we got Detective Ayaka by Polymer, happy face. I don't know who started the detective outfits, most likely Sherlock Holmes. They do look really stylish and Ayaka definitely rocks it pretty well. The mod also changes Ayaka's hairstyle to the one where she wears it in the Fontaine outfit. But this mod doesn't require you to use the paid Fontaine outfit. You can use this on the default Ayaka outfit. The mod does have three different toggles. You can toggle the hat. You can have the default hat that you're most likely seeing. You can also have a pink hat and you can also have no hat at all if you're not into hats whatsoever. I wish the submitter included instructions with this mod because they included the toggle but they didn't include the instructions on how to toggle the mod. I basically had to click everything on my keyboard to find it and it's the question mark 
Anyways, the model does come from another game. I don't know if it's a gacha game, but it, the game is called Eternal Return and the character named Eleven wears this outfit. Polymer Smiley Face did a fantastic job. I just wish they included the instructions for this. Number five, we got Winter Outfit Ayaka by Lost72P. This mod comes with the toggle feature with the T key and it features two other different hairstyles for Ayaka. One with long hair and the second one with a little more longer wavy hair. You also have the option with the default Ayaka hair if you so wish. If you don't want to toggle, you can also just download the specific hairstyle you want. Model does come from another game called Idol Master. Cinderella Girls Starlight Stage, which is definitely the one I've played in the past. I definitely remember that name. The outfit was originally worn by Shimimaru Uzuki, one of the main girls. In fact, the second wavy hairstyle in this mod is based off of the hairstyle of Uzuki. If you want winter clothes for Ayaka, I think this is probably one of the best mods out there. It also does have that Christmas spirit vibe to it. It's a shame that Hoyaverse doesn't make holiday based outfits. I think the closest we can get for holiday outfits for Genshin officially anyways is the upcoming Ganyu and Shinha skin and I think Xing Cho is getting one too. Anyways overall a very good winter outfit Ayaka mod if you are looking for like a holiday spirit Christmassy mod then I think this is a really good one for Ayaka. Thank you Lost72P for this mod. Number four, we got Hot Spring Cherry Blossom Ayaka by Skitty. This mod is very simple. It's just Ayaka in a transparent bathrobe and you can see her bikini underneath it. Ayaka is also barefoot in this mod, which gets double points from me. Ribbons of her hair have been changed to, well, darker black strings. She also gets a cherry blossom accessory on her hair, which looks really nice. I don't know if this model was imported from another game or if this is original. If it's original, props to you. But I would love to know if this was from another series. It looks like something from Azure Lane, but I know Azure Lane doesn't have like many 3D models. But the fact that it does look like something that you would see in Azure Lane also gets double points from me. It's a very good, simple, skimpy Ayaka mod. If you're looking for very something that's just basic, but skimpy then this is a pretty good mod for Ayaka. Thank you Skitty for this Ayaka mod. Number three on the list we got Summer Ayaka by Lude Lad. Lude Lad is probably one of the best not safe for work artists out there. So if you are looking for some naughty stuff I would definitely check him out. I think I have a lot to say about this mod. This isn't scripted or anything, but I have a lot to say because this is probably one of my personal favorite Ayaka mods. Even though it is number three on the list, like I said before, you really shouldn't take this list that seriously. There's no real particular order here. There are tons of versions of this mod. You got one with the sleeveless version. You got a swimsuit only version, a topless version, a bottomless version, and you got one with the default booby size version. The one you're seeing is basically like the default version with like everything in it. From what I can tell, there is no toggle feature, but it doesn't matter because this mod does have a lot of good fucking details in it. For one thing, there is a fix in Ayaka's bangs. It looks a little bit more... I don't know how to describe it, but it does look kind of fixed. For some reason, from what I see, some people tend to have a problem with Ayaka's bangs. I think they look kind of fine, but in this mod, it does look well better. I just don't really know how to describe it. Ayaka also seems to have a different body type here. Other than the bigger booba size, Ayaka does seem to have the adult female body mod, although it is a little hard to tell. Maybe it's more like Kaching and Mona's body type, or maybe it's like a mix between the two. I don't know, but it does look really good on her. Dude Lad basically turned Ayaka's default outfit into a swimsuit, basically. If Genshin Impact was developed by the team that did Honkai Impact 3rd, and they were outside of China, I feel like this is the type of design that Ayaka could get 
The woman's tattoo is also a nice touch. I really, you know, like that concept. Very fantastic, not safe for work Ayaka mod. If you are into that type of stuff, this is a pretty good mod to pick up. Thank you, Lude Vlad, for this mod. Number two, we got Royal Samurai Ayaka by Complex31. Very basic Ayaka mod, but it's so fucking good. When this mod first came out, this was probably one of my favorite mods of Genshin Impact. Gold and black are very sexy colors and I just love seeing them. And you know, Ayaka obviously rocks the outfit pretty good. The weapon mod along with this mod does not actually come with the mod. You do have to get that separately on the anime modding discord. I don't know if the weapon mod was developed by Complex 31. I'm gonna have to find that out if not. Mod does have toggles. You can have Ayaka with white hair and whiter eyes, or you can have Ayaka with darker eyes and darker hair. The key to toggle it is on the T of your keyboard, but it can be annoying to use this mod in Sumeru since Sumeru does have that uh, Spider-Man thing that you got to trigger with the T button. If you want a badass Ayaka mod, this is probably one of the best ones out there. Thank you, Complex31, for this mod. Number one on the list, we got Casual Lolita Dress Ayaka by Mimo4e. Mimo4e is a really good safe for work modder, so if you are looking for very good safe for work stuff, I would definitely check them out. This mod obviously features Ayaka in a Lolita dress style. There are two versions of this mod. One of them is bare legs, which is the one you're seeing right now and there's also a pantyhose version now i think the pantyhose version does have some lighting problems which is why you're seeing the uh, bare leg version not to mention i do like bare legs there are three different toggles that you can alternate between you got one with gray and black one with pink and white and one with black and pink you can do all this just by pressing the k on your keyboard a very stylish safe for work ayaka mod this is probably one of the best safe for work ayaka mods out there i also forgot to mention that there is a mod for the fan as well. In one of Ayaka's idle animations, she does bring up a fan. The fan kind of changes up a bit. You got some flowers going on with some black coloring along with it. Good safe for work Ayaka mod overall. Thank you Mimo4e for this mod. So that's going to be the end of this video. Let me know what you guys think. What was your favorite Ayaka mod? It doesn't have to be on this list. It can be, you know, just an Ayaka mod in general. Let me know in the comments and I will see you guys later.